thank you for signing in to Purpose Driven Ministry. This is the first Sunday, if I'm not mistaken, in April. Amen. Amen. Today we normally do our communion, but I want to hold off and do it next week. Amen. So everyone can be prepared for it. So please make note that we will be doing communion next week. So once again, thank you for signing in. I'm glad to be back home. My vacation, my sabbatical, whatever you want to call it, it was totally successful. Feel well rested, ready to do whatever God has for in store for me. And I'm excited for those that are part of this and ready to just jump in and just roll with it. Um, just a couple of announcements really quick before we jump into our message is that May 21st is our women's conference. Um, so please have it on your ca um, calendar. I will be reaching out to those that are helping setting up some meetings throughout this month to make sure everything goes accordingly. Amen. Amen. So before we get started, I just want to open up with prayer and get into our message for today. Father God, we thank you on this morning. We thank you for your word. We thank you for a time as this, God. Allow your word to touch those that are on this line and those yet soon to come, God. We just thank you for your magnificent glory, Father God, for your hand of covering us, for God, restoring us, allowing us to see a new day filled with your grace and mercy. Father God, you choose to give us breath in our bodies, Father God, to be part of this service on today. And we say thank you for it, God, because we choose to worship you, Father God. We thank you. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. So today our topic is going to be something a little funny, but also too something that um, God does all the time. God is not surprised by our unexpected messes. And I know I talked about this before. I think I posted an insp um, an inspirational word, you know, to this, you know, saying how sometimes um, we all make a mess of things and God comes right in behind us and clean it up. And it never looked like it was a mess, but it was a message to give to somebody to help somebody. Amen. So our key verse is going to come from Ephesians chapter three, verse 20, where it says, now all glory to God, who is able through his mighty power at work within us to accomplish infinity more than we can even ask or think. Amen. Amen. It's something he can do more than we can even ask or think by just going to him and asking him. And because he has the one, he's the one with the mighty power. Amen. He's the one to do all the work within us, through us. Amen. So our light can shine. Amen. So I know I talked about an incident before and I'm pretty sure for those who have stairs in their home or have stairs before, or sometimes we don't even have to stairs, but we can be clumsy. Amen. So, um, one morning lying at the bottom of the stairs in shock from the fall and in pain from the reality, what had just happened, fell down the stairs. I slowly regained my composure to assess the damage that was happening. I had cups in my hand books and knowing me probably i think a notepad everything just went up in the air came down everything juice whatever it was spilled everywhere um and then i kind of looked around and i was like wow did that just happen how did that happen and you ask yourself when you're in a mess how did i get here how did this happen the glass i had in my hand it lost most of the continents and it went down went down probably three or four flights of stairs got to the bottom and got to my feet and I couldn't believe how fast and how far the things that I had in my hand had traveled in such a short time. Um, the mess encircled an unexpected wide radius. It was everywhere. Um, in an instant, the Lord can cover our lives just like that of our unexpected messes with his mercy. Amen. We can see, we can't see what's coming, but he sees what's coming. He knows what help we were going to need. But he, he, the one that can come and clean it all up behind us. Amen. He goes before us, behind us, and covers us. Amen. And Paul talks about it all the time throughout his scripture, and especially in Romans chapter 16, starting at verse 25. It says, now all glory to God who is able to make you strong, just as my good news says. The message about Jesus Christ has revealed his plan for the Gentiles, a plan kept secret from the beginning of time. God's word is a secret because no man knows the day or time that he's coming back. So it's a secret and it's cherished, amen. But now as the prophets foretold and as the eternal God has commanded, the message is now known to all Gentiles everywhere so that they may believe and obey him. All glory to the only wise God through Jesus Christ forever, amen. 
God knows his plans. He knows our destiny for us. He knows the route and the um, path that we must take. Amen. But he's also a gentleman at heart. Amen. And that's why we have self-will. So in order for him to come in to cover us, we have to allow it. Amen. So here, as, as I'm gathering my stuff, as I, the sound was loud and people, my kids came running out their room. Uh, my youngest daughter witnessed what happened and it caused her to throw her phone up in the air and to hurry up to make sure that I was okay. Um, she sprang right into action. She was like, oh my God, mom, are you okay? Do you need some help? Helping me clean up the mess, helping me pick up the things. Um, when I tell you the, con the stuff was everywhere. The coffee was all on the walls. I mean, everywhere. A mess, right? Um, and then I also have carpet on my stairs. So, you know, the socks sometimes in gravity you just go flying. Um, so I was so grateful that she was there right on time. Um, but unexpected messes don't surprise the Lord. It surprises us because we're not ready, but God sees it before we see it. Amen. So it doesn't surprise him. He has, he's the same yesterday, today, and always he is purposeful placing us all in this, all in the same midst of each other, all the notes we need to create a like a uh, like a masterpiece amen he puts it all together he puts the pieces together so he allows someone to come and assist me as I, i'm trying to get myself together from falling down these stairs john wrote in revelations 4 and 11 he said you are worthy O lord our god to receive glory and honor and power for you created all things and they exist because you created them what you please God created everything just how it's supposed to be. It was pleasing in his sight. So when he looks at us and he created us and when he was forming us in our mother's womb, he knew exactly what we we're going to, he knew our DNA, amen. He knew exactly what we were going to look like. He knew exactly how we were going to be built. He knew exactly how we were going to be thinking. He knew exactly how we were going to walk this thing called life out. He knew everything from the start until the day he called us home, he knew the whole plan. Amen. And with that in mind, just imagine if God gave you that, that floor plan ahead of time, we would have messed it up we, because we would have been like, you know what? I don't want to go that route. God, you know what? Let me hold off. Wait till I get 30 and I'll be back to get you. Then 30 come. You know what? I'm just having too much fun in this worldly thing. Wait till I'm about 45 and I'll come back. So God doesn't tell us the plan. Amen. He he allows us to bump our head a few times. He allows us to have messes in our life that he can come up. And once we call on him to clean up and allow us to know that, you know what, Shibli, you cannot no longer go back there. You know what, Andrew, you cannot no longer go back there. You have to look at what I have in store for you. Amen. So you have to, first of all, stop and think like, okay, here I created this mess. But when I tell you when God comes in and he restores and he cleans it up and there's no residue of anything that ever took place, that's because God is powerful. But that's because he is the almighty. That's because he is the first and the last. He is the beginning and the end. He is the alpha and the omega. And he comes in like a flood and washes it all away. The Lord is pleased with us. Unexpected messes at all. In fact, he knows the intentional messes we choose to make. And he still loves us. Amen. He loves us no less. His power to transform all our messes into a miraculous transformation is un unmatchable and unfathomable. No other man on this earth can do that. No other man can come in and clean up our mess. Nobody but God. Amen. So don't allow somebody to say, you know what? I can help you with that. Let me help you straighten that up. No man can do that. Only God can do it. Amen. And if somebody comes into your life and tells you, mm, I can clean that up for you. Let me take care of everything and look like it ain't. You might want to question it. Amen. You might want to look what's their motive. What's their hidden agenda. Amen. So in Christ, we are new creatures, new creations. Amen. Where once we have made, we may have sat down and wallowed in our unexpected messes and cried over our messes. We had to clean up in Christ. We're able to see through the Lord's perspective, even when we don't recognize his hand in our mess. Amen. As we look up to the assets of the damages and we look at everything that has happened has who has what has transpired the people that we may have lost behind some of the mess that we have created we can fully and know fully that he is still there amen life within the love of christ means the holy spirit of the living god 
lives within us. He loves us and he's always there. His presence, his purpose, his power of the Holy Spirit in our lives gives us, enable us to flow through our daily circumstances until the holiness of the Lord permeates every last ounce of us. Amen. Till he takes completely over. Paul wrote in um, Ephesians chapter one, verses 19 and 20. He says, I also pray that you will understand the incredible. Do you hear me? The incredible greatness of God's power for us who believe in him. This is the mighty power that raised Christ from the dead and seated him in the place of honor at God's right hand in the heavenly realms. Amen. Ephesians chapter 1, 19 and 20. Read it. Amen. It tells you right there. It's his incredible greatness. Amen. Who believed in us. Amen. His power is what raised us up. His power is what kept us. His power is the reason why we are still here. Amen. Breathing life. Listen to the words that he has put before us. When you think about it, and you look up and you define what is power. What is the definition of power? Power is the act, is the ability to act or do, the capability of doing something or accomplishing something. Amen. That's power. Amen. Ephesians 3, 16 and 19 says, I pray that from his glory, unlimited resources, he will empower you with inner strength through his spirit. Amen. Then Christ will make him make his home in our hearts as we trust in him. Your roots will grow down into God's love and keep you strong. And you may have the power to understand as all God's people should, how wide, how long, how high, how deep his love is for us. Amen. May you experience the love of Christ through it is too great to understand fully. Then you will be made complete with all his fullness of life and power that comes from God. That word power. Amen. It's it is power in God's word. It is in power in having a relationship with him. It's that power that he instills in us, that he gives us the authority to have, amen, when we have a relationship with him. That power, amen. It's that power that helps us turn our mess into messages, amen. It is that power that gives us the strength to keep going when we fall. It's that power to keep going when we are heartbroken. It's that power to keep loving on those that don't want to love us. It's that power that with for some that reject us and we still keep loving on them. It's that power that keeps us continuing over playing, praying over our wayward kids when they want to go a different direction and you knew what we instilled in them. It's that power that keeps us that sustains us, that holds that foundation together. It is that power that the Holy Spirit is here as our comforter and we trust and lean on him for his wisdom and understanding. It's all in the power, right? It's in the power, amen? The power Paul talks about in Ephesians 3 and 3 verses 16 through 19 is the original word from dunamis. Dunamis is defined as that inherent power. Amen. It is resigning. It's, it's re, uh, re, rising up in us. It's that thing of virtue of its nature or by which a person or things exhort and put forth the strength and power and the ability of the Holy Spirit is to miraculously soul change and influence those. Amen. It is that very power of God in us. God told us that if you just believe the size of a mustard seed, amen, and at the size of a mustard seed, have that faith, that is power. You understand me? Listen, it is that very power in us. Paul proposes that the Lord is doing more than we can even ask for or even imagine. It's rooted in who he is, in his glory and his power. The prophet Isaiah wrote in Isaiah 65 and 24, he said, I will answer 